Okay, just a quick little video today. I just want to show you how to make the the little sort of um, carrot tops here um, on my match here pattern. So um, it's it's really simple. It's just basically a V stitch, but we're working at, at just like any other overlay mosaic where we're using the front loop at two rows below. So what we're going to be doing. So I'm now actually ready to start the V stitch, and that is going to be made over. Let me grab my needle over basically over three stitches but effectively it's all been made into this middle stitch okay there so we're going to be working front loop treble in there then a back loop double crochet in there then another front loop treble there and then we'll start again with our back loop double crochets between there so nice and straightforward so just show you so here we go we've got say so we're in that middle stitch of the carrot treble make sure you just miss the one behind so we're going directly into this stitch which will be would normally be sort of behind that treble we've just worked for our back loop double crochet and then there's another front loop treble in the same stitch so simple as that so then we've got to make sure we miss this stitch again which would be behind that one and we've got it's just three back loop double crochets between the carrots so then just take you through that V stitch once more so miss this stitch front loop treble two rows down into there then back loop double crochet in the same stitch and then front loop treble okay so you'll do that all the way along and I'm now going to show you how we just fill in here to take you through that as well okay so to finish off the top of the, the little carrot tops you obviously need to now cover up these green stitches in between and the one there to make it look more like the little little tufts there Okay, so it's just a case of double crochet in that first part of the V stitch and then we've got a front loop treble and it's it's there but it's just kind of difficult to find you still need to go into the two rows down so you're just gonna have a little dig around so you just find that loop just under there so there we go then another back loop Ooh hands all over the place today another back loop double crochet and then we've got three front loop trebles between the carrots two three and then we'll just do another little top here so we've got back loop double crochet then we've got to do our front loop treble just say in there and then back loop double crochet and then don't remember, don't forget rather, your trebles in between. Okay. So simple as that. And then I will come back in a minute and just show you how to do the bunny tails as well. Because they're slightly different, but it's all nice and straightforward. Okay, so just wanted to also just quickly take you through how we make the little sort of puffball um tail for the bunny rabbits so what I did on row six uh, row seven is I actually didn't do all of the trebles here or indeed a back loop double crochet you can see I've actually created a little space so what we've got is we've got two chains there and I missed one stitch one front loop there is, is unworked so we've left this little gap so what am I going to do just our standard overlay until we get there we're just going to do our little back loop double crochets along three so there's seven of them before you get to the, the space for the tail and what we're going to do here we need to leave these chains completely unworked but we're now going to work four trebles together in that missed stitch there so we're going down the two rows but we're going to work in front of this chain so and through both loops as well um, if we've worked through one loop putting four stitches in that would just really stretch it out so this is why I've left the gap 
for that. And also by leaving the gap with the chains there, that's going to make sure that our little um, puff stitch comes forward. Right, so it's a case of, so you sort of half do your treble. So you just pull that through the two loops one. So yarn over, in hook, pull up loop, pull through two. It's going to do that four times in total. Three. So you've now got your five loops on the hook and then pull through all of those. So that's our little tail made. And now we just cut straight on here. There we go. So back loop double crochet again. So that is how you make the little tail. Okay, so just another little quick thing, just on row nine, so where we've now now working on the main body of the bunny again, just make sure that you don't miss these stitches on either side of the tail. So we've got to make sure we work into that one there. So that's our seven stitches before the tail, then into that top of the tail, and then make sure again you're starting in that first stitch there after the two chain space. So when you've got your seven stitches either side of the tail and the one on top, that will give you then your 15. Okay, because so we're just going to go up to the edge there. Hello, just come back again um, to show you a slightly different way of doing the little bunny tails. Um, I don't know if you can see here. This one's a, if you want something a little bit more sort of full and probably more bunny tail like rather than doing the treble four together like like i showed you uh, in the um my last little clip you can actually replace that with a popcorn so that really sort of makes it stands out so i'm just going to show you how to do that so everything else is exactly the same apart from the fact you probably notice um I've kind of switched around the main colour and the contrast in my um, for the pattern too because um, I wanted to I basically one of my testers had the lovely idea of putting the carrots in in dirt <laughs> so I've changed the colours here so I've actually got my main colour is this mocha um, but I actually thought it'd be really nice to have sort of chocolate bunnies as well so if the main colour would have then worked out to be the colour of the the background with the contrast as the bunnies but i obviously still want the main color to be the bunnies so i've just switched that round for pattern two so where the chart says to use um mc you i've used cc1 and vice versa so anyway i'm now up to so i've already done one little um one little popcorn tail there and i'll just show you how to do that so so as i did before i've left the we've got the two chains and we've got a missed stitch there on the previous row so what we're going to now do is work our popcorn right into the top two loops of that so it's very similar to the treble four together except that you make four complete trebles before you like join them together rather than leaving the last loop of each on the hook so so what we're going to do making sure again we work in front of these chains just going to work four trebles into there one two three four and then to make a popcorn what we have to do is take that hook out of that loop so don't leave it too small leave it there so you can pick it up again and then we're going to insert our hook into this the first of those four trebles we just made and then put it back into that loop and then you just pull that loop through there so there we have created our little popcorn all right, and then we can just carry on as usual along like so. So there we are. So simple as that. So what I'll do, I will just come back and just show you because we need to make sure that we don't sort of miss any stitches on on the next row. So if you see, we've got our back loop double crochet into this treble before the popcorn this is the one that goes into there so when we come 
round we're going to have to make sure we work into this which doesn't look quite like a stitch not exactly like a stitch we just got to make sure we work into that bit but I'll take you through that in a moment okay so I've now come up to that first popcorn on my row so you can see I've now worked my front loop trebles all the way along right up until I get next to that popcorn and what we need to make sure we do now is work all you won't really be able to do a back loop double crochet very easily but that's okay we can just actually do a double crochet just into there so that's where we pulled that popcorn through so that's fine just do an ordinary double crochet into there Okay, so that is now the one stitch into the popcorn and we can now just carry on along with our front loop trebles like so and there we are <laughs> 